Good evening, everyone, and welcome on this eighth full week, the Thursday of the eighth full week after Pentecost. This evening, we will offer prayers in the order of Compline. And Compline may be found in your prayer books on page 127. 127, an order for Compline. The Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Now, turning to page 131, let us recite together in unison Psalm 134, Ecce Nunc. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now, moving to the bottom of page 131. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Turning to the middle of page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy. Defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now on to page 134. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. I invite your prayers, your requests, your petitions, your intercessions and thanksgivings. We pray for Donald, our president. We pray for Kay, our governor, for Paul, our mayor. We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, for Key, our diocesan bishop. We pray for Glenda, our bishop, coadjutor. We pray for Father Sam, Father Steve, for Caroline McGee, Eileen Lewis, Bartokla Wissa, Tommy Kay, Marie Tribble, Richard Gregg II, Jerry Wyndham, Charles East, Terry Schuster, Linda Johnston, Mary Travers, John Birch, Katie Mack, Frank and Veronica Richard, Molly Killian, Bob Fowler, Mrs. Cole, Logan, Rosalie Brown, John Lewis, Sarah Gade, and for Camp McDowell. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, 
that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised, for these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have promised for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. May you have a restful night.